Good morning, everybody. Welcome to a week in my life. I feel like I have not done a full week in my life in like a month. Um, today is Tuesday, so we did we did miss Monday, but honestly, nothing eventful happened yesterday, and I vlogged a little bit in my last vlog, so we're just gonna pretend we still have six days. I think I'm gonna do Tuesday through Sunday, and today is March 19th, which means it's the first day of spring. I've been in an amazing mood for the last week because it has been the most beautiful weather. It's getting a little cold this week, like it is 40 degrees right now, so it's not the beautiful like 65 degree weather we had last week, but but just the energy in the air is giving spring and I am very happy about that. I made my spring playlist. I've been playing that, listening to that. I am feeling good. So welcome to a week in my life. If you're new here, my name's Alexis. I am 26, I live in New York City. I honestly don't really have many plans this week, so we're gonna see what happens. But for right now, I'm eating my breakfast. I made a piece of toast with an egg with scallions and cheese. I'm pretty sure I used to make this breakfast in like 2021 and then I'm out of coffee. I went to Target yesterday and I fully went with the intention of buying more coffee beans and then that was like the one thing I forgot to buy. My roommate Emily let me use her Keurig this morning so we're drinking Keurig coffee. I'm gonna eat my breakfast. There is some construction going on outside if you can hear it right now. I like can't figure out for the life of me where it's coming from. I don't see anything outside but I hear it and it's been happening every single day for the past two weeks. It's crazy because I go outside and I feel like I don't hear it. So maybe it's on a roof somewhere. I have no idea. I have no idea where it is, but it's a little loud right now and they're drilling stuff. I feel like with the beginning of spring is the beginning of construction season in New York City. It's a little annoying because everywhere you go, there's like scaffolding and drilling and loud noises. But honestly, I'll take it if I can get the nice weather. So I ate my breakfast. I sent a ton of emails because I kind of was avoiding my email all weekend and I needed to reply to a million things. So I did that. Um, I have a meeting at one o'clock. So now I'm sitting here with Emily. Hello. She has to go to work at like two. So I feel like our time that we sit together is in the mornings. I mean, I guess I got some stuff done this morning, but we're gonna sit here and I'm gonna work on my crochet a little bit um, before my meeting and I'm gonna upload my vlog footage that I need to edit this afternoon. This is the, the current state of the crochet, um, but I messed up this green, this little green layer, so I gotta take it out. About to go on my meeting. And then from there, I'm gonna work on some editing. I feel like I need to go on a walk, do some kind of exercise today. Um, I was gonna take a dance class, but I think I'm actually gonna take that class on Thursday. I had a really good meeting. I'm very, very, very excited about what's to come with that. I made lunch. I've been making this like pasta salad every day with spinach, cucumbers, tomatoes, olives, chickpeas, and then pasta, obviously. I keep switching up what I'm doing though. I did red wine vinegar one day. Yesterday I did like a Dijon vinaigrette. Today I did balsamic and olive oil. I didn't really film me editing because I felt like that was boring. I don't know. It's been a while. Had my lunch, had my meeting, and now I'm cooking some dinner. I'll probably say I'm in a different sweatshirt, and it's my Wagner sweatshirt. I went to college on Staten Island at Wagner College. They are in the like playoff game to get into March Madness. Like they're in March Madness, but they're playing Howard tonight to like get that 16th spot. And that's really exciting. They haven't done this in forever. So I was on the dance team in college. So I went to all the basketball games and football games. The game starts like right now, but <laughs> my friends can't meet me there until like 20, 30 minutes into the game. So I'm just gonna watch it on my phone and eat here and then head over. We're gonna go watch it at a bar, but I don't really feel like sitting there by myself for the first 30 minutes looking like this and everyone else in the bar being like, what school is that? Like, what game is this? I'm just having some dumplings, some leftover rice that I made last week and broccoli. Okay, you know, I didn't film a second of that because that was kind of a crazy game. So Wagner won. This was Wagner's first tournament win ever, like in history, which is crazy. Wagner is a division one school, but like not division one A. So like division one A is like Ohio State, University of Michigan, like, you know, the big state schools. Um, but division one is like, still division one, which is crazy. And so when I was in college, we made it to the last game before the tournament two times. 
and we lost both those games so we never actually made it and I was on the dance team so I would always be at the games. This is the first time they ever made it and then they won this first seed game. So now they're seed 16 in March Madness and so they're gonna play the number one school. Who knows how this is gonna age. They might lose immediately. They're playing North Carolina on Thursday and they might lose but <laughs> the fact that they made it in is amazing so I was so excited. It was a very very close game. They were ahead the whole time until the very end. Um, Howard would have gotten their three point at the very end, they would have tied it up, but they missed it and we won. So that was really exciting. I'm gonna put some pajamas on and probably just get ready for bed. That was, that was very exciting. Good morning, everybody, and happy Wednesday. Got up a little bit ago, took a shower, and now I'm probably gonna eat something and then I kinda wanna go on a little walk, get outside, because I realized I didn't really go outside at all yesterday really do anything um which probably isn't the best but it's gonna be like 50 today so i think i can get away with just like walking around with a sweatshirt um so let's make a little bit of breakfast and then go on our walk and then i need to finish editing and uploading my video for the day <laughs> my breakfast same breakfast as yesterday the shadows are moody right now in this room probably because it's so gloomy outside um i just bought tickets to my friend kevin he's a musician he's having his first headliner show in new york city so i just did my little pre-sale code and i bought tickets and now i'm gonna eat my breakfast and then i think we're gonna go on a walk Okay, so it just started to rain. So maybe no walk at the moment, but I think I'm gonna take a dance class later today and I'm gonna walk there, so we'll do that later. So instead, we are gonna edit. Kind of forgot the whole reason that I was gonna go on a walk was to get a coffee because I never bought coffee beans. So I guess I'll just go grab Dunkin'. It's not raining yet. It's just the radar shows rain and says it's gonna rain, but I don't think it's... I don't think it's actually raining, so let's go grab some Dunkin'. I ran into Emily and then I decided to take her to this coffee shop that I've been raving about. Um, kind of derailing from my plans. It's all about spontaneity. of this. Maybe, maybe I cut it. Maybe, can we cut it in half? I feel like, it, since yeah. it's so thick, I feel like you can cut it right, yeah. Oh, perfect. Oh, oh no. no, oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, I went to get my coffee and then Emily happened to be going to get some knitting supplies. Ran into her, she was on her way there, so went with her, or crocheting. Emily, Emily does both. She she knows how to knit and crochet, but I do think she actually was crocheting. I got a better hook with like a better handle for my blanket while I was there, just because I need, I've been working with some pretty bad hooks. Now there's like a helicopter outside. It didn't rain the whole time we were out there, but it's pretty gloomy outside today. Got my Duncan. We also went over to a cafe and Emily and I tried some deviled eggs, um, kind of random, but we love deviled eggs and we saw it on the menu and we had to get them. Okay, video's posted. Do a little stretch. Video's out and now I have to leave in the next like 10, 15 minutes to go to dance class. I signed up for a contemporary class tonight. Um, I've been taking contemporary in a few weeks. Even though my body's feeling a little tired right now, I don't really know why. I think it's just because it's like rainy and gloomy. I'm probably gonna dance in these pants, but it's raining, of course. I kind of wanted to go on a walk there, but if I can endure the rain, but I also don't want the bottoms of my pants to get wet. My pants look so stupid. They're flare bottoms, but I'm tucking them into my socks um, because I don't want them to get wet. Just gotta grab my umbrella and we're headed out. 
Wanna say hi? Okay, let's go to dance class. A lot of questions about how me and my roommates like do cooking and food. Um, we don't do it together, <laughs> ever, except for right now. But a lot of people have been asking. Everyone's like, hey, do, how do you guys divide up food? And how do you make sure you don't eat other each other's food? And I don't know. I, if I didn't buy it, I'm not going to eat it. I feel like yeah. it's not. But I've never accidentally like eaten her bowl of pasta. No, we also have little cubbies. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, yeah, kind of things. Little cubbies At right here. I know, And I know that this this shelf looks a little overwhelming and it is and it's kind of messy looking and you're but right. we do have a system that works right now Zach's mine Emily's but Emily and I decided to try out Green Chef together because we both aren't super big fans of cooking <laughs> so we thought we would do it together I just got home from dance class uh, and took a shower while Emily started our dinner and now I'm jumping in to help and we're making stuffed peppers. So that's my favorite. Emily's favorite. Good morning, everybody, and happy Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. Happy Thursday. I'm running low on food, so I made a smoothie this morning because I had stuff for that, but I'm out of eggs, so I couldn't make my special bread and egg and green onion toast. So I'm having this protein smoothie. I might film a separate video, not in this video. We'll see. We'll see if we get around to that. Um, and then I might take a dance class or go to the gym. I, I don't know, I have a lot of different options today of things I could be doing. Gonna drink my smoothie. Gonna sit here with Bennett for a second. Okay, just finished changing Bennett's litter. Uh, I vacuumed, like rinsed out and cleaned the whole litter box. Now I'm gonna take out the bathroom trash, my room trash, the litter, um, and maybe the recycling. I'm feeling crazy. Well, I spent my afternoon watching the Wagner game again, put my sweatshirt back on. Um, it did not end as well as last time. They played the number one team, which was North Carolina, uh, and they were the number 16. So they lost, which was kind of expected. I was kind of hoping for like a little underdog kind of situation. They beat them, it would be crazy. I'm a realist. I knew it wasn't gonna end that well, but I put my sweatshirt back on for good luck. So I spent the afternoon just working on some stuff, watching the game. I couldn't bear to vlog. I get too nervous when I watch these games. I'm now gonna go on a walk with my friend Maggie because I haven't done any physical activity today. I was gonna actually take a dance class today, but the game was still going on when I would have to leave. So I was like, you know what? I'm not taking the dance class. I have to watch this whole game. So I am going to throw on my coat because it's 41 degrees out. It's cold again. 
and go on a little walk. Another evening of making a Green Chef meal. Emily will be home in a minute. I just got home. I went on a walk with Maggie. Totally forgot to film. I don't know what's going on with me this week. Tonight's meal is beef tenderloin with mashed potatoes. It's literally freezing outside. Like it's gonna drop to 27 degrees tonight, which I'm unprepared for. Um, so this is gonna be like a nice, warm, hearty meal. She's home. Hey! This is a good clip. Oh! <laughs> We're cooking beef. Beef tenderloin. Look at that. got a little probiotic soda. Mm. Pop culture or culture pop. I don't really know. I would assume it's pop culture, but maybe it's, but it looks like culture pop, but I can't tell. It's the only probiotic soda I have found that I liked. Here is our beautiful, stunning beef tenderloin with mashed potatoes and broccoli. Yum. Mm -hmm. Delicious. I am about to go to bed, but I was working on my crochet and I want to show you guys my progress because I feel like I haven't shown you in a second. We are getting somewhere. So I just finished this side. You can literally tell how my hand has gotten so much looser as I've gone on because this is like so like flexible and loose while the middle is like insanely tight. This pattern that I did on this side of this main square, I now have to do on the bottom half. Isn't this crazy that I've made this? Like, it's insane. It's taken a lot of time, a lot of energy, but I'm very proud of it. Um, and this is just the beginning. This blanket is complex. And Bennett has been really liking it too. He likes Emily's a little more than mine. They like crawl onto Emily's. Probably because the, the middle of hers is softer. Like mine's pretty tough in the middle. I, I realized like two days in that this was kind of not the best week in my life to film because I kind of have like random plans. I'm doing another one next week. Next week I have a lot of stuff going on. I think that one will be really fun. I will talk to you in the morning. Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. It is so cold outside today. It's like 27 degrees. That's so sad. I'm gonna make my bed and then get my laundry together. I'm gonna take it to a laundry service because I literally remembered I don't have any detergent or dryer sheets. I, this happened last week and I was like, I gotta buy more. And then did I buy more? No. Um, it's my mom's birthday, so I'm gonna drop off the laundry and then I'm gonna call her. Maybe get a little Dunkin' because it's Friday and I still don't have coffee beans and I've been stealing Emily's Keurigs all week. And then probably go to the gym because it's my first day of this new training program that I'm doing and I'm very excited. Um, and then I gotta go to the grocery store. We have like a whole list of things to do today, but I'm just gonna start simple, make my bed, get my laundry together. Okay, low key, I don't have that much laundry. Like, look, that's it. Why? I thought I had way more than that. I feel like that's not worth it to pay for it. So I guess I don't need to actually do my laundry. I've just been trying to do it weekly because I don't like it piling up. Like I used to literally wait like three weeks to do my laundry. And I feel like that's, I don't know, I'm trying to grow up a little bit, you know, grow up. We're gonna hold it off and we're not gonna do my laundry today. Let's do a grocery haul. I just got home and I had to take off the sweatshirt and just sit here in silence for like five minutes drinking the rest of this protein shake I got after I left the gym because I was so hungry, but I feel like I'm always like, yeah, I'll just go to the grocery store right after the gym, but I have to walk a good amount. Then I gotta carry the bags back, which are always so heavy. I never really think it through and then I'm like panting by the time I'm back here. Um, but we made it. I had to go to two grocery stores because Trader Joe's didn't have everything I wanted. Um, so I'd buy like three things at a different store. So we made our rounds at the other grocery store. I just got taco seasoning. Trader Joe's has been out of taco seasoning for like months. Zucchini. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea where the zucchini is at Trader Joe's or if they just don't have it sometimes. Like if it's very seasonal. 
I'm not really sure, but I can literally never find it there. So got my zucchini elsewhere. And then I bought sour cream at the other store because I hate Trader Joe's sour cream for some reason. I have no idea why. These are the best potato chips. They're dark russet potato chips, spinach, bell peppers, pasta, tortillas. I'm gonna do a little taco night this week. These fruity gummy candies, because I just saw them in the checkout line and I feel like I always grab something. They're like a dollar. Tonight, my friend Maggie and I are gonna cook dinner together. Since I'm all of a sudden a chef, I've been cooking all week. We wanna like roast a chicken with veggies. And I saw this veggie like saute of asparagus and mushrooms and onions. And I feel like that would be really nice to put around the chicken. Um, iceberg lettuce for my tacos olive oil because we are dangerously low. Four potatoes because the mashed potatoes that Emily and I made last night, Maggie was like, I sent her a picture last night of our food and she was like, I want those mashed potatoes. So a lot more stuff to make more of those. An onion, more coffee beans, tomatoes. If you remember in my old apartment, I made it all the time. I made like this ground turkey, tomato, zucchini skillet for breakfast and then put an egg over it. I missed that. That was really good. And I want to make that again. Got the stuff for that. Got some green onions again. Bone broth, more spinach, broccoli to also put around the chicken. The chicken. White cheddar um, for the mashed potatoes. My little salami packs that I'm just obsessed with. Ground turkey for the turkey skillet. Ground chicken for the tacos that I wanna make. Refried beans, in case I wanna put those in the tacos. Frozen broccoli, cause I just always love to have this on hand and creamer. That's my haul. Got a good amount of stuff. I'm so hungry right now. I think for lunch I might make, I still have like some grilled chicken that I bought at Target at the beginning of the week, like pre-cooked. I might make like a spinach salad. My roommate Zach brought home a million strawberries from a catering gig that he worked. And I might do like a strawberry spinach salad with balsamic, but I think I wanna take a shower first because I feel disgusting. It's actually really nice outside now. Even though it was freezing this morning, the sun is out now. So I was like dripping sweat by the time I got home. I feel very clean. I literally have not washed my hair in days because every single time I'm about to wash my hair, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna do something where I might as well just wait another day. And now it's been like a week, but I was gonna wash it today, but then I'm literally going to ballet in the morning tomorrow where I have to wear my hair like this. So I feel like at that point, I'm just gonna wash it tomorrow afternoon. I feel like I never wear it like this though, like this high of a bun, no part, <laughs> just slicked, but that's what that's the point we've gotten to because my hair is so greasy. Running the dishwasher because it was completely full. Look at these berries. I made my salad, just a little one. Um, it has grilled chicken, a hard boiled egg, and strawberries on it with a little balsamic dressing. And I'm gonna watch a little bit of TV while I eat my lunch. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Um, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Maggie. <laughs> That was really good. Thank you. Can you believe that this vlog is still going on and I'm still cooking meals with random people in my kitchen? It's my cooking show. <laughs> oh, that should be your point. new thing. Drinking a little wine, cooking a little and dinner. I feel so cold. This is not a um, Green Chef meal. This is a meal that we came up with on our own, except for the fact that we stole a lot of tips from the Green Chef meals to make it. We made the mashed potatoes from last night. We did, because they're delicious. They're very good. And we're currently baking a chicken with veggies and me and Maggie and our other friend Bailey, who's not here yet, we're all gonna eat it, drink a little wine. Crazy Friday night. Woo! Crazy Friday. <laughs> I just can't believe how much I've cooked this week. It's honestly impressive. It is impressive. Good morning from one of the gloomiest mornings I think I've seen in a long time. I think I'm just gonna dance in a big t-shirt because I don't, it's just gloomy vibes. It's honestly shocking I'm getting out the door. I contemplated for like 20 minutes if I actually wanted to go because it's so rainy. So I headed out to ballot. Let's, let's go. This rain is no joke and it's supposed to get so much worse later, which is making me a little nervous. Class is over, still raining. 
That was not my best work. I don't know. I woke up with a bad headache. I had a headache all day yesterday too. I think it's just because of all these weather changes. I'm like feeling disgusting. I don't know. Um, so my head hurt. I took ibuprofen this morning before I left on an empty stomach, which I should not do. Uh, I mean, I ate a yogurt walking here, but I feel like that wasn't like enough sustenance to actually like fill me up and make me not feel super nauseous. So halfway through the class, I was like, am I gonna throw up right now? Like, that's weird. And then just like the whole second half of the class, I was a mess. But you know, you win some, you lose some. Can't always have a good class. I'm glad I went, I'm glad I got moving. It is so rainy and it's just gonna keep getting rainier. So I'm gonna head home, take a shower and literally not go outside all day. how gloomy it is outside. I have to have my lights on, it's so dark. I actually, I actually can believe it um, because I feel like New York has been so rainy every single Saturday, except for last Saturday, I guess. Last Saturday was beautiful. I'm gonna dry my hair and then I'm gonna upload some footage to edit and I'm going over to my friend Maggie's apartment and meeting some of our other friends and we're doing something called hobby hour that we've started doing in the past month where we all like go to someone's apartment and literally work on our hobbies. It's pretty self-explanatory. I don't know like why this year has become like the year of the hobby. I think all of us collectively just decided that we wanted to have like more passions and more things to do for fun. So mine's crochet, obviously. Maggie's is painting. Um, Emily's is crochet as well. That's, that's what's going on. So I'm gonna dry the roots of my hair, but since it's pouring down rain, I'm not gonna dry it all the way. I might finish drying it at Maggie's apartment. everybody and happy Sunday. I'm probably gonna end the vlog here because crazy enough I kind of want to edit this entire vlog and post it the day I'm filming this. I switched to the Wednesday Sunday uploads but they feel a little weird to me. Honestly I think it's just like an adjustment for the greater like good of my videos. I think those are better days to post but I think because I did a Tuesday Friday for three years I'm very set in my ways with that but you can probably tell I've been going through a bit of like a transitional phase I guess with my YouTube. Honestly it's probably because my vlog is so centered around my life and I feel a little lost in like my life right now so I think my vlog feels a little lost as well which I, I know that there's like something nice about vlogging the unknown and like figuring life out but because I obviously still want to do theater and audition and do all of that but I think I'm just reframing my mindset on it and I think as I'm doing that and like figuring out what I really want. I don't know. I feel like I'm rambling a little bit. I appreciate all of you sticking around and through all these like changes that I've been going through the last year. Like so many of you have stuck around or joined and I'm so thankful for all of you. I don't know, like this vlog that I just did, I know that this week was kind of random. This was a weird week for me. I feel like I've been kind of running around and doing a lot of things the past month and this week was the first week I didn't really have any like set plans all week. So, but I'm vlogging next week. I'm gonna actually do a full week in my life. Um. Monday, starting on a Monday, not a Tuesday. And I have a lot going on next week. I've been dealing with some personal stuff as well that has been kind of taking up a lot of my life that I'll probably share in the next vlog because it, it feels relevant with what I'm doing. Next week, I have a lot of fun things to go to, uh, a pretty busy week. And I'm just trying to figure out if this is something that I want to keep doing full time, if I want to obviously still post just as much as I post now, but if I want to get like a part-time job or if I want, I don't know, we're figuring it out um, one step at a time. My typical quarter life crisis I get every single year. So. so thank you so much for watching. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.